Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and this is the next video tutorial of online examination system and in this video and just uh, actually uh, in the last video tutorial I have covered all these things about the student uh, module and uh, remaining two uh, action method that is the result and the view result so actually result and the review result is uh, totally uh, related to the result view model but uh, result have uh, like the page result uh, like the pagings so just to generate a list of uh, list of results i want to show by the uh, or you can say show by the admin okay so you can uh, just scaffold that item you can see that in the header row you can see that i enumerable of result view model and these are the code actually just copy that code and paste in the inside in the result and i will explain you just after a few minutes the whole codes which is uh, copied from the notepad file so just you can see that paste it here and what inside in this code that is first of all uh, you can see that that is the parent div actually that division uh, cover all uh, remaining divisions i mean to say that that is the root division and root division actually use uh, in the um, html to pdf con uh, conversion so you can use it here as an element just get that um, divisions and uh, convert that dom into the pdf so html to pdf is there uh, is applied it here so uh, you can download html to pdf uh, library a javascript library and the data table uh, library from the internet and uh, just paste inside your js folder you can see so after that you can just open your uh, layout.cshtml file and just paste uh, just after the render body or you can say that uh, just after the scripts required files just above that uh, just uh, drag and drop that these files one by one so js data table dot bootstrap dot mean dot js and the second file is uh, html to pdf dot bundle dot mean dot js and the third one is data table dot mean dot js okay that thing is uh, pretty simple okay So uh, you can see that jQuery dot data table dot mean dot js and data table dot bootstrap dot mean dot js both files are uh, actually add in this uh, layout dot js html. So by using this file, you can just use html to pdf method, and by uh, using the uh, from uh, method, you can uh, just convert your DOM element into the pdf form that is the margin is 30 10 5 to, uh, 10 and the proper comment uh, comment is there for proper understanding so that is the parent division and here we have a table and inside the table we have a four columns exam name total questions correct and the wrong and the respective page result is there you can see okay and uh, the next one is the view result so actually view result is a form of you can say that uh, a, a result uh, seen by the student actually so you can just see that the student service dot get exam result so it's a related to the students so single uh, view result is there and uh, no it's actually it's a list
result view model is also there okay uh, actually result is uh, getting from the student id and the view result is actually result on the basis of the logins okay just copy that code and paste just after that so uh, the online examination system is actually uh, work on the examinations uh, and i mean to say that where we have a uh, three modules a teacher um, actually uh, set the papers and decide the times and the student uh, teaches a uh, student get the paper and uh, do the uh, do the papers uh, online by using the options okay so that uh, project is actually uh, built on that uh, platform that is asp.net core and uh, quite simple you can say so the student actually question answer control uh, controller is there so in the question answer controller we have only two action method that is index and the create and you know that the create is actually based on your uh, question answer view model so just view name is a create and uh, template is also set to create model that is a question answer view model okay and uh, we have a question answer uh, in the form of that like oops just copy that code student management system just paste that and uh, here we have and the exam id is actually uh, is there and uh, that is the create form and uh, exam actually exam id is not uh, in the model we have a exam id so exam id is loaded in the drop down list and asp item is actually bind in the select list model dot exam list id and title so title is visible and uh, in the form of value we have a exam uh, id and the question is uh, display on the label and option 1 option 2 option 3 and option 4 is in the form of form control like uh, option 1 and option 2 option 3 and option 4 if, if it is boolean then uh, will display in the form of text uh, radio buttons and the respective uh, select list is also there for uh, selecting the options which is which one is correct so in the form of uh, drop down list so that is the create of question answer view model and the next one is the index so add new and you know that index is actually related to the list template so select the list template and the model class is question answer view model you know so page number 1 and page size is 10 so just you can use the page result is also so just copy that code here you can see that the page result is there in the model but uh, just copy that uh, from the divisions and the exam papers you can say in the h1 from the h1 so just copy that code and one by one i will show you uh, 
what inside in it and you can see that that page result is there so just paste after that index actually uh, guys you know that uh, the each module in the examination system is a uh, good uh, you can say that because uh, if you learn more about uh, asp.net core projects then you must to learn about uh, view models must to learn about the uh, models must to learn about the patterns and most must to learn about the uh, designs so each and every module in asp.net core is classic so document dot ready functions and uh, uh, q and a grid dot data table paging is false and filter is true and cs pager is there cs paging page size home dot page size page number is there and your layout dot html is there and data table is also there so cs pager is there option 1 option 2 option 3 and option 4 is there thank you very much